Tello Mobile is one of the cheapest cell phone service providers in America. Plans starting at $5 a month and frequent deals for new customers. But do you get what you pay for with Tello Mobile? I'll help you decide next. So much has changed since I first tested Tello Mobile back in 2019 and I wrote this article for Clark Howard's website. But now that I'm on my own with michaelsaves.com, I thought it was time for an update and there are big updates with Tello too, including a brand new network. In today's video, results on my latest testing and the five things to know before you sign up for Tello. Let's get started. Number one, plans and pricing. I mentioned at the top, $5 a month is the starting price for Tello's plans. Now that won't get you a whole lot, but if you spend maybe $10 or $20 a month, you'd be surprised how much high-speed data you get with Tello Mobile. So why don't I show you their website and walk you through some of the plans. Tello lets you choose from ready-made plans or customizable plans. We'll start with the four ready-made deals. The prices here reflect a limited time discount for new customers. We'll start with economy, unlimited talk, text, and one gigabyte of data. The normal price, $10 a month. Two gigabytes, $14 a month. Four gigabytes, $19 a month. And there's an unlimited plan too, $39 a month. Although at the time of this recording, only 25 gigabytes is high speed data. And this is important with any of Tello's plans that have high speed data. Once you use up your data during a month, it won't shut off completely. Instead, it'll be slowed down to 2G speeds. And if you want to add more fast data, you can either upgrade to a new plan, no penalty for that, or purchase pay-as-you-go credit. Tello tells me that most people go ahead and upgrade to a new plan. Now, if one of those ready-made plans don't work for you, you can build your own plan. And here you see I have that $5 a month option selected, but it only includes 100 minutes of talk time and no data. I wouldn't really recommend this plan. Instead, I'd say you should get one with unlimited talk and texting, even if you don't need a whole lot of data. Tello does offer a family plan option, though I'm not too crazy about it. With this, you'll create a custom plan for each line of service on the account. So it's not simple like some other services that offer four lines for, let's say, $100 a month. Now, you've probably noticed this 25% off for six months deal. This is a limited time offer, but I've seen it before with Tello. They frequently offer deals like this. Right here on Tello's website, it says no contract and no fees, but you should know that there are taxes added to your bill. From my experience, they're minimal though. For example, I paid $14.30 for a monthly plan and only 37 cents in taxes. Like a lot of discount services, Tello is prepaid, which just means that you pay for your service in advance. But you should know this, the plans renew automatically every 30 days, unless you cancel at least 24 hours in advance. Log into your account from Tello's website. You can cancel there in just a couple of clicks. Number two, network coverage. And here we've got a big change to talk about from my initial review back in 2019 because Tello now runs on T-Mobile's network. And this is a change for Tello because prior to the merger of T-Mobile and Sprint, Tello provided service using Sprint's network. So before you sign up, you'll wanna make sure T-Mobile's coverage is good in your area. I will link to the coverage map down below in the description. During my most recent month-long test with Tello, I experienced zero dropped calls and zero missing text messages. That's the good news. I will say the call quality was slightly muffled on my end with Tello using my Apple iPhone 12 compared to my main provider, that's this one, Verizon Own Visible. Both of these are the iPhone 12. I use the exact same device when I'm using my main provider and then when I'm testing cell phone services. Let's get to the data speeds because there's a lot to talk about here and big improvement since I last tried out the service. Download speeds averaged 40 megabits per second from the 20 tests that I conducted. You can see the results here from the speed test app. Now this is important. When I got my Tello SIM card in the mail, on the package it says 5G. However, because I used an iPhone, 5G was not available with Tello, only Android devices at the time of this recording. And even without 5G, the speeds that I just showed you were more than adequate for my needs. Tello did tell me that it hopes to expand 5G access to iPhone users soon, so if you have a compatible iPhone, you're gonna wanna check Tello's website for more information on that before you sign up. Number three, additional features. And I've got three things to share with you 
in this section. First up, Telo includes some international features that other low-cost providers do not. With Telo, plans include calls and text messages to more than 60 countries. Also this, Wi-Fi calling and texting, that's available with most compatible devices. And another option is that you can make calls over Wi-Fi from the MyTelo app. I made a test call from the MyTelo app and it worked just fine. And the third additional feature, Telo includes mobile hotspot at no additional charge. I connected my computer to my Telo mobile hotspot and recorded a download speed of 13 megabits per second and that was fast enough for me to view YouTube videos like this one without buffering. But a warning, mobile hotspot data comes out of your monthly balance, so you'll want to monitor your data usage carefully from the MyTelo app. Moving on to number four, phone options. With Telo, you can bring your own phone like I did or purchase a new one. But I gotta say, the number of devices available for sale is underwhelming. At the time of this recording, Telo sold fewer than 15 phone models. I reviewed Tello's website and discovered that most of the new and refurbished phones available for sale are pretty affordable, more than half of them under $200. Now that list includes Apple and Samsung devices, but what's missing here, the latest phone models. And for those reasons, I think most of you will want to bring a device you already have to Tello. Check with your current carrier to make sure it's unlocked and use the link in the description to check phone compatibility with Tello. And people always ask, so I'm going to mention that just like any other service, you can bring your existing phone number to Tello if you want to or get a new number. Number five, customer service. As a discount provider, Tello does not have retail locations, so you can get customer support by phone, chat, and email. And Tello is known for its solid customer service, including 24-7 support by phone. I'm rereading my review from back in 2019. And I wrote here that my calls to customer service went to voicemail. This time, though, someone always picked up. Remember when I talked about not being able to get 5G? Well, that's what I contacted Tello about three times, but unfortunately, I got three different answers. First, the towers near my test location are under maintenance. Then, that Tello uses non-standalone 5G, which still relies on the existing 4G LTE network. And the third answer, that 5G is not available on iPhones yet. Now, all of those answers could be true, but the third one is the one I would have liked to have gotten first because, as I mentioned earlier, I use an iPhone 12 for my testing, so I would have known right away that 5G was not available. And as I later discovered, the 5G limitation is mentioned on Tello's website in the Help Center. Just getting started is probably the biggest mental roadblock for most people watching this video, but I can tell you that the setup instructions with Tello were simple and easy to follow. I got up and running in about 10 minutes. But if you're transferring your number to Tello, it could be longer. The company says the port in process anywhere from two hours to two days, which is standard. Now to my final thoughts and the pros and cons of Tello. Based on my testing, Tello's plans are best for people who don't use a lot of data. If you want an unlimited plan from a low cost provider, Consider Mint Mobile on T-Mobile's network or Visible on Verizon's network. Now here are the pros and cons of my latest review of Tello. For the pros, affordable basic plans with fixed data, international features, mobile hotspot included at no extra charge, and phone customer service available. For the cons, the unlimited plan is limited, 25 gigabytes of high-speed data as of this recording. Also, not the fastest data speeds, but again, I wasn't able to test 5G. Although it's a prepaid service, plans renew automatically, and few phones are available for sale from Tello's website. So if you want to learn more about Tello and compare its plans, I've got a link down below in the description. And if you have Tello, add to my review in the comments below. Thanks for watching.